Hello artists, how are you today? It's Stephanie Oni coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. We are very happy you are here with us today. Well, this is the Circus Altered Book. It is, it is. And um, some of you may not have seen the Circus Book. And this puppy is a feat in construction. So I thought that I would give you a quick run through of the circus book. Now you really probably can't tell that those are lit up, but this circus book has lights. Yes, it does. Let's see here. Dun, dun, dun. It does. <laughs> it has lights. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna be kind of hard to uh, film this for you, but I'm just gonna bring you in real quick, just a touch so that you can really see um, what's been happening with this. See the engine comes out and then also the caboose. So they're both uh, very dimensional pieces. I do need to finish up this uh, landscape I am looking forward to getting uh, into that process for sure. This, is, this thing is unruly, so it is very difficult for me to show you. Um, but definitely wanted that train to come off of the book. And uh, I have 100% accomplished that. So all of these videos are... <sighs> they're all under the Circus Altered book page. So this is gonna be one of the pages that we are going to work on together. I didn't really know what I wanted here. I think I have a pretty good start with it. So uh, a pretty good idea. This was the first page that really set the tone of the whole book. So this one took me about 10 hours to get proper, to get it right. Now, I could have settled for a pop-up that was subpar, but uh, I did not want to settle for that. So this is not wanting to sit up as high as what it should. The further that you spread it out, the more that that stands up. But we have more, but wait, there's more. So I figured out how to construct not only the pop-ups, but how to also figure out how to do the pull-up so that you have the full circus tent. Dun, dun, dun. This one, let's see, there you go. The more that you open those pages, the more that it stands up. Looks like I'll have to do some reconfiguring with that to really make it stand up a little bit better. Ta-da! So, super, uh, super dimensional. This took many hours to figure out how to do it correctly. Um, you know, and it's been sitting here like this, so I'm sure that those little bits have gotten bent a bit, so. Come on, close back up now. Come on, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Get in there. Dang it, kid. All right. Okay. And then we have our beaded frame page. So as I talked, uh, you know, in your in your creating your first altered book, you can put whatever you want to in the center of that frame. You are not limited to just, you know, the same old thing over and over. You can put a beaded frame there. And of course our tattooed lady, beautiful. Very, very beautiful. This is our Cabinet of Curiosities page. We have seven doors on this page. We hand painted every single tag. We made all the doors work properly. Right. And this was started, God, when did I start this? It was almost a year ago that I started this book. And the bearded lady down there. 
So our Cabinet of Curiosities page. Love that. And the colors are just so cool. So now this has been sitting kind of scrunched up, of course. This did all spin at one point in time. Now, with it being kind of munched up and flattened, it doesn't like to spin as much. Now, they were all individual spinners or, uh, initially. If you watch the video, you will see it spin quite well. <laughs> Again, with all the other layers that were put on top of it, it just doesn't quite spin as much anymore. It used to just... This also does have a hidden pocket page here. This is actually um, a brother and sister team. Crazy, huh? But uh, this was, yes, the, the uh, knife thrower page. And then we had our shaker window ticket master and our creepy ticket guy. We hand built the uh, ticket box from ground up. Yes, yes, we did. And then we have the six tent flip and fold page. The what? Yes, six tents. All right, I'm gonna move the camera back. So don't get sick on me. All right. So then each one of these. Oh gosh. <laughs> There's our strongman page. We guess we just stop it. We have to do it oh individually. There's our strongman. Here is our fortune teller. And this page, this layout took a long, long, long time to do. But all of these did because I put, um, well, I put a lot of heart and soul into them for one. But, um, you know, these all have the crackle stencils on the background. This is the guy getting shot out of the cannon. And then, of course, I put the uh, poster for each of them in there, too. And these are the flying women. And then went and found the actual pictures of that troop. There we go. And then there's some extra fun posters there and there. And then, and then on this side, we have been a while since this has all been opened up of course we had the snake lady and then we had the strong woman oh come on come on and her name was kate something she was pretty cool though she used to lift her husband up over her head all the time <laughs> she was super strong but then this is her um miss katie Sandwina. Katie Sandwina. And this was a fabric uh, paper that we put over the top. And then, of course, no circus is complete without your gremlins. Okay. So this is another page that we need to finish up. All right. This is the page where the big top with the lights boop, come into play. Let there be lights. So here's our crowd here. We have, of course, Trapeze Artisan here. We have our crowd over here. Come here, buddy. Stay there. Our little kids, so more Trapeze Artists up in the air. And then we have that one, which I still needed to figure out how to make um, these guys all stand up 
on their own. So here is the lights mimicked by the lights up there. Come on, stay up. So I really wanted the feeling of the Three Rings Circus, of things that were going on up above and then things that are going on below. So I need to make some little um, twisty things uh, with sticks, probably some popsicle sticks. So then you have your Three Ring Circus below. And what do you have in your Three Ring Circus? Well, you have all sorts of things in your three ring circus. You do. <laughs> this thing's so unruly. Get back there. It hasn't been laid out for a long time, guys. It's just been kind of sitting up on the shelf. Okay. So we can start here. Maybe. So there's your crowd all looking up and looking at things. That guy needs to be a little fixed up. Then we have our, our women on the horses, clowns and giraffes, and the people on the bicycles. Really, Glue? You too? We have the jugglers and the dog guy, the clowns and lion tamers. And some more tightrope walkers, walkers, some horsewomen, some tightrope dancers, uh, some clowns on stilts. So each one of these is a window frame. These are each, uh, they're open here. So there was images put through on each side. All sorts of different images there. So this was inside the big top. <laughs> Which, yes, some of the pictures are outside and I'm fine with that. I chose these pictures because of the composition and because I liked how they looked. And, um, you know, even though some are inside and some are outside, that's not important to me. What was important was the overall composition of the piece. So I definitely wanted it to feel like they were up in the, in the sky, that they were up above everybody else. And I think that that is absolutely 100% accomplished, that they're above the crowd. And then here, of course, well, it needs, one of the stars came off, and so I need to fix that up. But... Um, that is that layout it took many 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 hours but when i figured out how to make it all work um it was really a, a wonderful thing because all of this compacts into something that is that wide so all of those images are in a three inch wide section. And actually this was built outside of the book and it was inserted into the book. This I believe was also built outside of the book. So this book has a probably five inch expansion. Uh, no, it's probably six inches for the spine. So then we did our um, exquisite corpse pages. Let me bring you in here, close your eyes. Is the exquisite corpse pages so we have all sorts of fun little guys I hand drew each hand painted mm, looks like that one needs some touch-ups made sure that each individual head lined up properly with all the individual feet again guys these are all over there uh, under the creating your no this is the circus book this is all under the circus book playlist how to make all of these different guys now on 
Patreon, I did provide you with my reference images for all of these little creaturey things. And each one works individually. So you can put feet on the snake. Anyways, love that. And then this page was kind of our homage to childhood. And um, let me get you in close onto that tin box. Coming in, coming in, coming in. So you have the old shark tooth, you have a lizard, you have an airplane back here. That's a, a Marshall thing. That's a little knife. So this is kind of like a little boy's treasure box is what I wanted it to feel like. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix that. The lid's wanting to come off. That's not good. That's not good. And then here, okay, gonna pull you back out again or up. Here we had, you know, time, how time passes. And then oh, open. Everything's stuck right now. We have our elephant home. Yay. So I made a tin just for our elephant with copper embossed box there. Elephant house. Boop. <laughs> I was so pleased when that worked out properly. And then our little boys Oh, and the frog. Don't forget the frog and the stars. Um, oh, there's a little horsey down here, I think. Some stones. And then it's filled in with sand. It's actually, um, um, the sand is Seth Apter's uh, baked textures. So it was one of his, I think the name of it is called sand. So yeah, that's just the homage to childhood. So there backing you up again there is our circus altered book now of course once we get it all finished we'll do a complete run through on everything but um yes we have an altered book that has its own skylight <laughs> it does make me very happy and i absolutely am looking forward to finishing this project so we'll get working on probably this first page right here next week. That's what my plan is. Okay, so there's your circus altered book in its full glory. And uh, this one, of course, I think we'll do the main entrance. Um, that was kind of what I had, had envisioned. So the main entrance for going into this tent. So yeah, there it is, guys. Six tent flip and fold. Uh, all of these, uh, you know, every single page that's been made is in that circus book playlist. So, okay, I'm excited to get back to it. And this, like I said, is construction on steroids. It was really a lot of fun to do, and I can't wait to finish it. Okay, guys, we'll chat soon. All right, bye bye.